ladies, today we're bringing you the top 10 moves for thinner thighs. This is a body weight workout, which is awesome. So you don't need any equipment, you just need some space. And we're gonna get nice and busy, really leaning out those legs, okay? Our first drill coming up is going to be our side lunge with our crossover and tap. You're gonna give me 15 reps on each leg. So we're gonna start with our feet together. I'm gonna step out to my right into a side lunge. Only the leg that actually steps out bends. The other leg stays nice and straight. You're parallel and your weight's back behind you. You're gonna push over and then you're gonna cross that leg over. So as I'm sitting down, I'm working the outer thigh and my glute, the inner thigh of my standing leg, and as I stand up and cross, I'm gonna get the, the inner thigh of my crossing leg, okay? So you're gonna give me 15 reps on either side. Our second drill coming up is gonna be our runner's lunge to balance. So you're gonna stand with your feet split apart. You're gonna come down to a nice runner's lunge. So your knee is gonna come down to the floor and then as you stand up, you're gonna extend the arms and leg back behind you and then come straight back down. Lift up, hold, and down. It's gonna be really important that you squeeze your standing glute and your hip bones stay square and that you're not rotating open. The minute you open your hips, you're kind of inviting the, the possibility of falling over really into the equation, okay? Then you'll switch legs. So we're gonna do 15 on, on the right and then 15 on the left. Use your core when you're standing up. You wanna be able to be parallel in that nice airplane position when you're balancing. Our third drill is going to be our scissor power switch. So we're gonna do a scissor jump and you're gonna really think about getting high and switching your legs to the top. So we're gonna start in a split stance. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna switch, 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 switch. Okay, we're gonna go for 15 total. You're alternating legs every time you come down. So the lower you get, the bigger explosion at the top, okay? Every time you land, I want you to absorb the shock by softly bending your knees, coiling up and then exploding up into the sky, okay? Our next drill coming up is our diagonal lunge. I'm gonna start with my feet together and I'm gonna have my arms up overhead. I'm gonna reach down, coming into that nice diagonal and come all the way back up. Come into that diagonal and then back up. Diagonal and lift. So the chest is coming down over the thigh but I'm not rounding my spine. I'm keeping my chest up and I'm extending forward. So we wanna end up being in this nice straight line. Whatever knee is in front, from your head to your heel, you wanna be in that straight line. If this is really challenging for you, just don't go down as far in your lunge, okay? The further down you go, the more the glutes have to work. But hey, we really wanna work those thighs, so squeeze as you're coming up, <laughs> squeeze the glutes, use the inner thighs to work, okay? Our next drill is going to be our plie side lunge. I'm gonna step off my mat for this one because I wanna be on a flat surface that I can slide my feet in on. In dancer's first position, my toes are gonna to be turned out to about 20 to 30 degrees. The more turnout you have, that's natural for you, could be even up to 45 degrees. I'm gonna take my hands on my hips and step out into a nice wide second position. So this looks like a nice squat for a lot of us. And then we're gonna slide that standing leg back in. Squat and slide, squat, and slide. So this is gonna be fantastic to open up the hips. Your rotators are gonna be your glutes, your inner thighs, and your outer thighs. So make sure you're trying to show your inner thighs forward. Keep your chest up, really beautiful tall posture, and squeeze that booty, okay? The lower you get, the better it works. You're gonna give me 15 reps on either side. Our next drill that we're going to do is our lateral plyo squat. So we just worked on going side to side quite a bit. Now we're gonna add some momentum to it. So I'm gonna squat down and I'm gonna explode up, jumping to the side. All right, 15 total. Right and left, right and left. Keep alternating. The next drill we're gonna do is coming down to the floor. This is our kneeling roundhouse kick. I'm gonna come down my hands and knees. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists and your knees are underneath your hips. You're gonna extend your right leg out to the side and you're gonna kick forward and then bring it back in and lower back down. So I go up, kick, in, and lower. Up, kick, in, and lower. Try to avoid the leaning tower of Pisa here. 
you want to be able to press more into the hand that the knee is lifting up. So if you're taking a, a balance point off the floor, you want to add resistance to that same hand that is going to give that side a little bit more balance, okay? 15 reps on the right, 15 reps on the left. All right, our next drill, we're going to be in our hip extension and cross. So you're going to come down onto your elbows so that your back is nice and flat. I'm going to extend my right leg all the way up from my hip, keeping my leg at 90 degrees. I'm going to cross behind my bottom leg and lift right back up and then starting position. So I lift and cross, lift and lower, lift and cross, lift and lower. All right. So you're going to give me 15 reps on the right, 15 reps on the left. Now before you move on, before the workout is over, I want you to try to do another set of that. So another set of 15 on the right and another set of 15 on the left. Okay? Control this and really work for that burn. Next drill coming up is going to be our plank to stand up. So you're going to come into plank position. I'm going to step my right foot between my hands into a nice deep lunge. My back leg is going to slide in slightly as I stand up and then I'll come right back down and then I'll step back in and up down and out, in, up, down, and out, in, and up, down, and out. So I want you to alternate on these ones. So every time you go down, you're gonna switch legs. And you're gonna give me 15 total reps. It's really controlled, you're sliding in, you're using your glutes, you're using your quads, you're using your inner thighs. It's all wonderful feeling. It's gonna burn and I want you to attack it, okay? Your last drill, guys, is gonna be your prone hamstring curl. So getting the back of the thighs, you're gonna lay all the way down. You can rest your forehead on top of your hands. So I'm gonna talk to you through this so you can hear me a little bit more, but I'm gonna be an extension and then I'm gonna curl the back of my leg. So when I'm lifting up, I don't lower my feet down in between my reps. I keep my feet off the floor, and then I'm going to focus on the back of my thigh. Okay, so I'm going to lay down. I'll lift up. I'll curl and extend. Curl and extend. I love to flex in. It squeezes the glute and hamstrings a little bit more, and then point on the way out. Flex and point. All right. So you're gonna give me 15 reps total. You'll rest, and then you're gonna do that same drill one more time to complete two sets of it. All right, and that's the end of your workout. You're on your way to thinner thighs already. Hey everybody, I'm Julianne Huff, and you are with shape.com.